It's a cold, rainy day here at Kings Island, and when it's cold and rainy, what do you do while you're at the theme park? Well, today, we're gonna be showing you all kinds of merchandise so that you can get an idea of what all is here, what you can buy. And our very first spot is here at County Conventions. Come along with me. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. Let's go. Inside Coney Confectionery, you can buy all kinds of things from large lollipops, even giant lollipops, to squash mellows and uh, just normal sized lollipops. You can buy fresh made candies. You can buy, you know, kind of those uh, pick and choose uh, smaller pound candies. Um, some things that probably would be penny candies most of the places, but are a bit more expensive here. You can buy cotton candy, fudge, stuffed animals, all kinds of different things here at Kings Island's Coney Confectionery. Um, it's also just a beautiful place. It has a really old school uh, candy shop kind of look to it, kind of a Victorian feel uh, to the top of it. And it's definitely something that I enjoy a lot. It's definitely a fun place to come and I recommend checking it out. Uh, when you are here at Kings Island, although you may want to be careful with bringing your kids because you can spend an arm load with that. And we're braving the rain again to go try to find something else. Now we're going to be getting down onto International Street and down there, all the shops will be pretty well connected, which is part of the reason why I chose this <laughs> when I knew it was going to rain. And we are headed into the Emporium here. The Emporium, once again, is going to have several of the things that we just saw, like these pick and mix candies for $4.99 a pound. But there's so much more than that here inside this merch location. You have this giant nut peanuts, Charlie Brown, and all kinds of peanuts plushies. Pretty much any kind of branded merch that you could possibly find here would be here. Also, let's check out the damage done. <laughs> oh my word. It's so wet. Oh. We've got some Joe Cool merch. We have Snoopy stuff. Pilot Snoopy. Snoopy in a house. Pink Snoopy. Blue Snoopy. Pink and brown Snoopies, tie-dyed Snoopies, there's all kinds of different things. As we move to the other side of this room, we have some Kings Island branded t-shirts, some kid stuff, uh, especially named things. So we have Connor, Eric, Ethan, can we find Trent? I doubt it, Trent is never on any of these. Tristan, that's about as good as we get. We also have these diamond cut heart necklaces. For someone in your life who would love a diamond heart necklace the heart of the ocean if you will and we also have some ice cream bowls again named ice cream bowls there's also a few more branded things uh these orion t-shirts the beast and diamondback some of the front runners of king's islands lineup along with personalized necklaces keychains, all kinds of things inside this side of the store. However, this is not okay. That font, never, never, never the move. As you move into this next room, it's almost like it gets, it's younger down there and then it kind of gets a little bit older with each room that you move uh, toward what demographic it's actually kind of based on. Um, this room is kind of more of the teeny bopper room. It's going to have still some squishmallows and things like that, uh, but also some jewelry, sunglasses, um, beach towels, and different things like that that you can have uh, for your <laughs> teeny bopper kid, or if you are a teen yourself, uh, someone who uh, may want to buy something like this. More of the teen, preteen type of uh, room for this demographic right here. <laughs> and it continues to get a little bit older as it continues down. We also have some cool sweaters, um, tiny like crop shirts, things like that, um, tank tops, uh, different types of things that have uh, different types of things to buy and to wear here uh, with branded Kings Island stuff on it. As we move into this room, this is more of your Thuzi room. <laughs> Anything you want with branded merch for any of the rides, 
um, anything special here at <laughs> Kings Island um, from cups to shot glasses to hats of all different kinds um, even hats with sports teams or or in this case uh, cities on them we have craftables we have collectors items we have sweaters um, basically anything that you could possibly want that would be your Kings Island memorabilia you can find in this room shot glass I kind of feel like I do my theory with this store is shot to pieces with this uh, room <laughs> because this is the squishmallow room I suppose anyone can like a squishmallow right but mostly you're gonna find kids that like these some of them are branded to Kings Island stuff and some of them have no bearing at all in the IP for Cedar Fair in any way all right it's the very end of the day it is now 701 but we're not quite done. We've still got a few more merch locations to hit. So come along with me. Let's go check them out. First of all, on this side of the park, we have the Snoopy Boutique. We're gonna go inside, check out what you can find. If you have a Snoopy lover, this is obviously the place for you or for them, I guess. So we have everything themed Snoopy. We've got some hats, have some named merchandise. Toys, plushies, tons of squishmallows, t-shirts, sweaters, more sweaters. I love these chill, the chill merch. And the place itself is just a cool place altogether. Snoopy, how many different types of Snoopies can we find? Cool hat Snoopy, Squishmallow Scoop Snoopy, Large Snoopy, Medium Snoopy, Funny Snoopy, Mug Snoopy, Baby Snoopy. Then we have Woodstock merch, Charlie Brown merch. We've got some Snoopy hats. We have some bucket hats for Charlie Brown. We have some smaller plushies, some kids shirts, all kinds of candy and anything that will entertain your child <laughs> or your child at heart is definitely here now honestly the thing that i like the most here these mugs and these hats do i need one of these charlie brown hats let me know down in the comments if that's something i should buy would that complete my brand i don't know i think it might of course, that store exists within Planet Snoopy, which is also a great place to go visit. This is a very expansive area for kids. Definitely a fun place to bring your child. Um, and honestly, it has some banger coasters even for adults. Like, they're kids coasters. There, there are two of them that are a little bit bigger. Um, bigger than this one, the Great Pumpkin Coaster. But this is like the perfect coaster for, for little kids to start with. And then you have some awesome larger coasters that even adults can get some fun out of. Now for some more merch locations. First of all, I want to point out just a couple of fun details here on International Street. I love these front um, of these front buildings here. Um, and you can actually see, like right above the French Quarter, there's someone painting the Eiffel Tower. I love that. <laughs> We've got the Isla de los Reyes over here and La Calza de Dolces. Um, you've also got several things up here on the balconies, kind of showing you who lives up there and the things that they're into. This person seems to be into some gardening with some ceramic pots and a hose. Each one of these balconies has different, just fun little details and Easter eggs in them that I really enjoy. And I definitely think it's worthwhile just to take a moment to notice them, to look at them, to stop and smell the roses, if you will. <laughs> 
always fun just to take in whatever details you can find. It's also worth noting that this park was opened in 1972. And what park was opened in 1971? Well, that was Walt Disney World. So while they have obviously more details in Easter eggs at Walt Disney World, they did also adapt that kind of an idea here at Kings Island. And I think that is so much fun. Even down to this bike right here. Let's go check out the sweet shop. We've already seen this kind of thing all over the place. But, I mean, if you are a kid, <laughs> you can't find a happier place than a candy store. We've also got some Squishmallows. We've got some tiny keychains, some unicorns, more Squishmallows, more Squishmallows, and an entire wall of candy in a very old school, very aesthetically pleasing kind of a thing. Oh my word. Guys, I, I need this. I need that in my life. Like that needs to go in my background. Uh oh. I'm so very smooth. <laughs> We've got a wall of jelly beans. We've got some additional candies over here. Like I said, I might need to buy this Bob Ross. I ruined them all wonderfully. Maybe I'll come here dressed like him for Halloween. Even down to an entire counter full of fudge. We've got cotton candy again, and even a place where they can make some stuff over here, a demonstration counter. Also, more fresh made candies await you inside here. Caramel apples and all kinds of sweeties over here. It also smells absolutely delicious in there, <laughs> so I gotta get out because I can't do that. I, I'm perpetually trying to lose this belly. That, that doesn't help. We've got craters, ice cream. I talked about that last year during the food video. But there are a few more places where you can still buy some fun items here on International Street. And one of those is also the Build-A-Bear Workshop. Although I would imagine that's closed right now. I'm not going in it anyway because I have no need for a Build-A-Bear. But this is definitely a fun window to look at and see all the bear styles that you can get. And then we have home. This is more of a um, area with home goods in it. Things you can buy like mugs, cups, hats. But not all of it is as much branded for Kings Island. It's more just vacation merch. Stuff you could get it. Put it in bay. You have everything from keychains to necklaces to friendship bracelets. Of course, once again, what <laughs> Kings Island would be stupid not to capitalize on its candy. And then you also can find some things like sweaters, hats, and more branded merch over here. But like these things could be really fun for my background also. So I may need to do so I may need to get some of these for my off-season content. Actually, I'm really digging that hat. That is super cool. All right, we've even got some books and some tiny little bags for you. Oh my word. I might need to ask for this for like my birthday or something. Oh my word, that is so cool. Oh my word, I love it. You might say, well, surely that's the end of your video, right, Trent? And no, you're wrong. <laughs> no, because it is close to the end of the video and these places don't really have anything new or exciting in them. We're just gonna do a quick overview. This is Essentials right here. It does have some things for the end of your day. So that's what I really is the takeaway for me here. Um, like I have definitely needed some water before when I left, um, but also things like chargers, uh, things up at the front of the park. Actually, I'm digging a lot of these hats. That's really cool. I love this 1972. Wow. Oh, I, I want to buy it all, guys. Um, you've got some Squishmallows. You have some um, more merchandise uh, things that you can buy for jewelry and things like that. Puka shell necklaces, all that kind of stuff. Keychains, um, just like, and even sunglasses. Things that you might forget need on your way in or things that you might need as you leave the park. 
Now, I do want to know where I can buy these because I would display those proudly all over my house. Well, friends, and with that, that is the end of our little jaunt into merchandise at King's Island. I hope you found something that maybe you might even like and uh, had some fun along the way with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Press that like and subscribe button, and let's go!